Hello everyone, my name is Amita. Today I am making a video which has been requested by so many people on my channel that is how to get admission in MIT. This video is for all those students who are currently between 9th to 12th and want to do engineering from MIT. I have structured this video in 7 sections which are Since I am making this video from the perspective of a student solely applying from India, an additional segment about how much it costs to study at MIT will be covered at the end of this video. Let's get started. Part 1. Set up your My MIT account. MIT has two application cycles, early action and regular action. It is fine to apply during either cycle. There is no additional benefit of applying in one versus the others. MIT has two cycles because it helps them distribute the workload so that they can devote more time to each application and plus it provides applicants with more options so they can choose which one works best for them. Deadline for early action cycle is in November and for regular action cycle is in January so make sure you don't miss the deadline. Unlike most top schools, MIT doesn't accept the common application or the coalition application. MIT has its own application portal which can be accessed through the link my.mit.edu. Create an account on the portal by letting MIT know your email address, first name, last name and birth date. This step is very basic but essential. Part 2 Biographical Information So as you get started on your application, you have to fill out some basic information about you such as your name, email, your home address, birth date, gender, country of citizenship and parent information. Information about your religion is also asked in this part as you may receive email or two from campus leaders sharing information about the resources available at MIT. MIT never share this information with your family or publicly and will never mail anything to your house specifically addressing your gender, identity or sexual orientation. This part again was very basic and now let's move to the most important part. Part 3 Essays and Activities Rather than asking you to write one long essay, a mighty application consists of several short response questions that are designed to get to know you. For example, the four questions that are asked in the 2022 and 23 application. For example, if you look at the first question, tell us about something you do simply for the pleasure of it. This question is asking about an extracurricular activity outside of what is you are doing. For example, if you are a history buff, then you don't just tell admission officers about topics that have interested you, rather you have to show them how you have researched them outside of the classroom. Maybe you start a podcast. The more detailed you are about your pursuit of this activity, the more genuine your voice will sound. Essays are a chance to let your voice shine through and to highlight areas that might otherwise go unnoticed on your application. If your application includes the strength of your extracurricular accomplishment, the quality of your essays and your alignment with what MIT is looking for on a cultural and skill set basis, you are all set. So the pro tip is you have to be yourself. Part 4 Tests and Scores as per the MIT, standardized tests such as ACT and SAT are required for any first year application to MIT. If you are taking ACT, try to get 34 plus or if you are taking SAT, try to get 1550 plus. Apart from this, you need to give two SAT subject tests, one for maths and other for science. For math, there are two options, math level 1 and math level 2. For science, you have three options. You can choose between physics, chemistry and mathematics. My tip would be here is to take this test with writing as it will add value to your application and highlight your writing and communication skills. 
एम आई टी डो नॉट हैव एनी कट ऑफ रिकमेंडेड फॉर एस ए टी एंड एस सी टी टेस्ट बट दे डू हैव अ मिनिमम रिकमेंडेड स्कोर्स फॉर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टेस्ट सच एस आइल्स पार्ट फाइव लेटर ऑफ रिकमेंडेशन You need two letter of recommendation for your MIT application. One from your science teacher and another from your humanities teacher. You should ask letter of recommendation to only those teachers who have taught you these subjects in an academic year and know you well. MIT also require your school counselor to complete a form that is secondary school support SSR. form which typically include your transcripts and letter of recommendation part 6 interview so you finally made it the students will be contacted by the educational counselor for an interview via email it is to note that sometimes mit is not able to interview all the applicants and if you are chosen for an interview you will be informed by the mail respond to that mail to schedule a time and a day generally an interview lasts for an hour or so if you are not interviewed that does not mean that you are not accepted to mit because it simply means that there are limited number of interviewer and thousands of applicants so it's not possible for everyone to get interview part 7 additional information This step is optional and MIT neither expect nor require additional material beyond the application. Students who have worked on a significant research project outside of high school classes are welcome to submit it under this category. Note that only if you have a special talent, skill or something else which you were not able to mention it in the application, you may send in. but please don't try to repeat the things it will give a bad impact to your profile with this we have completed all the seven steps of your successful mit application and now let's move to the feasibility test how much it costs to study at mit as per the information provided at the mit website for the academic year 2022 to 2023 the total tuition fee without any scholarship will cost you 79850 dollars and if i convert this amount to inr it will be around 6.5 million indian rupees that's a very big number and it is the major constraint for the student who are applying from india but you need not to worry MIT is one of only 7 colleges in the US that is need blind and full need for all of undergraduate students domestic and international need blind means that MIT don't consider your ability to pay for college in the admission process and the full need means MIT is committed to provide best financial need to their students about 6 out of every 10 students receive MIT need based ad As per the last year data 2021-22 the average annual price paid by a student at MIT was $19,599 that is 1.5 million INR it means total 5 million INR has been reduced to your annual fee MIT provide scholarship based on family income so if your annual family income is less than 50 lakh then you need to pay approximately 4 lakh inr per year as an mit fee i know this will still not be affordable for many students for them this video is still not over mit provide 100% scholarship to exceptionally talented students one such student was ayush sharma from india his father was mechanic in pwd His parents who have themselves never been to a degree college are beaming with pride for their son to be the first one in their family to go to a proper college. So, I'll wrap this video with a final thought. Remember, if the mountain doesn't move, then let the roads move. If the road doesn't move, then let yourself move. If you don't move, then let your heart move. to be educated but i'm so frustrated